All right, it's the Brooke of That Gratitude Guy. Today I'm with my good friend Cheryl Grasser to find out what she's grateful for. So mm -hmm. first of all, Cheryl, welcome to uh, The Gratitude Thank Guy. Thank you. Thank you, you David. Bet. You bet. And so Cheryl, what are you grateful for? Well, I would have to say that in this, in this moment and in my life where I am right now, I am grateful for love. The, not just the power of love, but the awareness about what love brings us. And when you say in this moment, so what did, kind of how has that manifest itself or triggered, if you will say, versus some time ago or what have you? So I think, you know, I'll be honest, it came down to a really, really powerful question that was asked of me. Um, there was some conflict in a conversation with another person and a really, um, somebody I really value in my life, a mentor, a really great friend of mine, um, Richard, he said to me, ask yourself, how can you apply love here? Oh, wow. And so what that did is it shifted me from the reactions and the fueled, heated conversation that I mm -hmm. wanted to go in at mm -hmm. and, and with anything right now in life. And it's that awareness about how can I show up really my best in this conversation. And for me, it's how can I apply love here? Yeah, it's heated. Right. But really, do I want to just keep fueling that heat? Do I want to? I know what, the best version of me is to show up loving. And so what does that look like? So, you know, we all have our own stories. Right. We all are on our own journeys, our own paths, and they're not always pretty. Right. And, you know, and uh, walking through some of this icky water that I'm in right now, of things that have continued to show up in my life, to stay the person I truly am is to mm -hmm. focus on all those icky waters and how can I apply love here? Nice. And that allows me to bring out my best me. Oh, that's neat. And, and you had mentioned too earlier, you and I were talking about being present, which I thought was really mm -hmm. cool. That was kind of another piece. Mm -hmm. You know, to be present is powerful. Um, I think in a lot of ways to be present is to show myself self-love. Mm which is also a powerful piece. I mean, we have to love ourselves in order to pay it, pay it forward, I feel. Um, and you know, without, especially without draining ourselves, because mm -hmm. we need to fill up too. Being present allows you to look at exactly what you have now. Correct. In this moment, without going too far ahead, which brings in a lot of worry and doubt and fear. Right. And when we focus on right now what we have, it takes us to the place of gratitude. Yeah. What we have is enough. You know, both feet are above ground. Mm -hmm. um, I have food on my table. I have a roof over my head. I have a new dress to wear. Whatever. All of a sudden, it's like, wow, life is good. Exactly. Exactly. Well, there's another, you mentioned, you heard that Cher just mentioned the word gratitude. As that gratitude guy, of course, I always love it when we get back to that. But as Cher so eloquently explained, it focuses on what we have versus maybe what we don't have. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for being a special guest with that thank gratitude you. guy. Thank you. You bet. You bet. And thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next week with another special guest. Take care.